Hello everybody, this is Jacob from Scandinavian Study and in this, in this tutorial I would like to show you how to make an application to Danish universities, university colleges and academies on optaelse.dk So after you go to the website optaelse.dk you click here on apply for higher education in English Next you apply, you click here, apply for higher education here, if you have CPR number, you click yes, and if you don't, you click no, and you click next. Here, you will add your email address, and after you click OK, you will receive this email with this link to your email account. After you click on this link, you will get to your application on optales.dk. First time you come here, there will be a box here asking you for your full name and uh, date of birth so when you when you click ok it will generate your cpr number here and you will fill the next uh, the rest of the information your address your postal code city country and optionally um, your phone number your email your citizenship and here are you currently or have you previously been admitted to a higher education program well, actually, because I've been here to this application before and I already clicked no, I couldn't, I cannot click now yes. But if you have been studying somewhere before, you click yes and then you will get another question. Do you have a master's degree, I think? So then you click yes or no and then you can put some additional information about your uh, previous education. But if you haven't been studying anywhere else before, you click no and then you click save just don't forget to click save all the time because then all your information is lost next well the whole application uh, consists of those four tabs so first information about you now we go to entry qualification here uh, for most of the non-danish people you click on or you put here non-danish exam the entry qualifications you put other and which you write high school graduation certificate and then here you put the year of completion your high school uh, now do, uh, there are two more additional questions uh, I'm currently taking a supplementary course which uh, will be completed before July 5th I am not uh, I've enrolled I've enrolled in a supplementary course which I expect to complete after July the 5th I'm not I click save and here we go to choice of education program I have already chosen those two programs here one uh, chemical and biotechnical science at, at business Academy Aarhus and one computer science uh, at Little Belt Academy in Olmse but just so like there is nothing here if there is nothing you just click add education program so and here I always do that I click on 500 so you can get all the schools and programs on one page and it's much easier and here it might be a little bit complicated because all the schools are here listed by the names of the cities where they are located not by the names of the school so you actually have to know where the program not only the school is located but also the campus or the program let's say you want to apply for i think you see i don't even know what if this is copenhagen uh, business academy or not but basically i think it is so i click on here computer science and it is the website here is cphbusiness.dk this is copenhagen business academy you can always check what school you are applying here by clicking on the link of the school let's say here uh, sbl and this is uh, Southwest Academy. I will just click on it, and here I can here I can check if this one is Copenhagen Business Academy. Let's see. So it is Copenhagen Business Academy, and uh, here this is okay international. Uh, business academy southwest 
So this is a little bit complicated, but you can always check the school by clicking on the link if this is the correct school you, you are applying to. Let's pick, for example, this school because I want to show you here this sun and uh, and like warm and cold, I think it means. It's like winter and summer intake. So at this program, computer science, uh, you, can, you can actually apply for winter and summer intake. That's why I want to show you because it, there is uh, a thing you have to be aware of. So I click on choose. Now I will have to click on additional information. Standby here. I wish to apply for a standby place. Standby place means here it is all explained. So, but it means if you want to, if you are not going to be accepted for your first program for the first priority, uh, and you want to be accepted maybe for the second or the third priority, you click no. I wish to apply for a standby place. No, because you want you want your application to go to the other university or other program. If you click here, yes, and you will not be accepted to the program, then your application is not going anywhere further. That means you will either get a standby place. That means if somebody else is not going to start or is not coming, then you might be offered a place instead of the person or you might might get offered a place uh, the next year. Here, the next one, winter study start. Uh, yes, if possible, I want to be admitted for winter start. Well, if you want to start in January, yes, but most of the people want to start in August. So click here, August, September. Pre-approved admission. Have you received pre-approved admission, let's say, a year before? Click yes, if you do or if you did. Here, attach documentation. But I would say 99% of the people never received any pre-approved admission, so click no. Qualifying exam. Do you have an insurance qualification or do you expect to pass your insurance exam before July 5th this year? Yes. Here, there are some extra curricular uh, information. All those information there doesn't have to be filled anything, but basically passed or expected past courses in addition uh, to entry qualifications. Do you have any? Put it here. Work experience? Put it here. Uh, other activities after the age of 15? Put it here. Uh, extra uh, courses at Falk High Schools? Put it here. Have you ever been staying uh, abroad? Put it here. And then click add. content of the field regarding your previous application is automatically copied into the field regarding your application for the next for your next priority da, 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 da. this is not important now so now I have uh, made uh, I have made an application for three programs every time you make an or you choose a program you have to click here to approve here you have a signature page you have to download the signature page. If you forget to click here or when you click close, you can anytime click here again and you get to the same box here again. So you download the signature page and this is very important. Uh, after you download the signature page, you print it and then you have to put the right uh, date and signature here. Then you scan the signature, signature page and you send it to the correct or the right person at Scandinavian studies. And we will then after send it to the school. Click close. So this is basically how you make the application. Now, all the documents you want to send to the school, you add here in enclosure. I have already uh, add three, doc uh, three documents here. You add them very easily just by clicking add enclosures. Then you browse for documents and you put a name of the documents here. So I have put here three documents. One is a cover letter for the first school, for example. Second is a cover letter for school for Little Belt Academy. And then the, the third one is my high school diploma. Here you can see on what schools this document is going to. Let's say my diploma, I want to send my diploma to all the schools. 
but let's say my cover letter which is made only for the first school I'm sending only for the first school the cover letter which is made only for the second school I'm sending only to the second school and not, not to the third school as well so this is the way how you put the enclosures there well, and actually this is this is how you make the the application i hope uh, those information were helpful and i wish you all the the best and yeah, success in your application to the universities and university colleges in denmark and i all wish you a very nice day